Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I have here a pen that I received from China and it is a special edition for 2023. So I brought here my Victorian Oxanox knife, the Pioneer X for 2023. So let's see what we have here. And let's open this and let's just cut through this very plastic Chinese kind of wrapping. They are really annoying to open because they are mostly a, a big blob of plastic and they are, you don't have really a, a decent place to start opening it. So, all this is just the protection thing and now, go away, let me show you the pen that I have here. Okay, slimmer than I thought. This is the new Hongdian N23. This is the pen for the ear of the rabbit, which is this 23. So I really thought that this pen would be um, girthier. So it is an interesting pen. The clip has this stuff but it really doesn't move, it's not like... And it's very very stiff. And so it is a black pen. What this looks like is like a maybe a brass pen that is lacquered in black and then it is engraved and then it has some kind of a coating kind of a, a varnish or something like that so you have here Longdian N23 and this is the edition for the ear of the rabbit and you have a rabbit there on the bottom in this kind of oriental kind of engraving. Today I have a mixed setting with artificial lights, both from right and left, as I usually do, and I also have some natural light because I'm recording this during the day, which is not common, so I have natural light coming from the front. Maybe the lighting conditions may seem a little different, but that's what I can do today. And here we have the pen, and it looks really nice and it's kind of beautiful, we have the threads here, a section which is girthy enough, and then a nib, which is, I would say, a number six nib, and you have kind of a rabbit there on the nib, and 1997, and Hongdian, and all that. So, I think this is a beautiful pen, an interesting one with this kind of engraving. It is available also in other three colors. It comes with a converter, which is nice. In fact, I find it very nice to have a converter, but it depends a lot on how you collect pens. I have so many pens that I have too many converters around, so I don't really need an extra converter. And sometimes for the practic practicality of the thing, I would prefer that a pen would come with an ink cartridge to be able to use it right away if I was not at home, where I have lots of cartridges also, more than a bottle of ink that I may not have around. But I guess there, that's matter for uh, the video someday about that. So I just wanted to show you this unboxing and I want to show you some, just some comparisons and then we are over. So, this is the Hongdian N23, here of the rabbit. This is the Hongdian 960, nebula orange. This is the N6 in black. This one is a piston filler. Cartridge converter, cartridge converter, piston. And then I have here three, four more cartridge pens. One, is this, I think the, the shape is kind of similar, this is the Conklin All-American, and you can see this, that's what I was expecting uh, with that clip, and the, the All-American is really bigger, and I also have three Moonman pens, this is the M3, 
300 the same kind of shape and concept i would say the m6 in tiger wood i i really enjoy this kind of this one is nice and this which has some gold flakes this is the moonman m8 gold flakes so we have all these pens and let me just uncap them for you to take a look so these are the Hongdian, three Hongdian pens. This is not clearly part of the collection. It's and isn't, isn't also, but they are here just for being my Hongdian pens. The Conklin, the Moonman, another Moonman, and another Moonman. And I will just bring. Oops. I hit the tripod, I bring the pens up for you to see. It's interesting that the nib on this Hongdian looks different from the orange one. But same kind of a number six nib. So let me just 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 try to hold all the pens and bring them here and hope that the camera will focus. So the first one has the typical Hongdian nib, a two color nib this is the here of the rabbit it has a special engraving with the, the rabbit there then the black a different kind of engraving from all the others but it's a nice one it's beautiful but it's all black then we have the conklin all american which is a, a conklin nib the older ones not the yovo i think this one is still a bock nib then we have the schmidt nib on the moonman m300 and Schmidt nibs are quite nice. This is a Moonman nib, two color, and this is a Moonman nib, just gold plated or gold colored nib. So um, I, I actually like these Moonman nibs also, but many people don't, and I think that's mostly because they are on the drier side, and I see lots of people prefer wetter pens i'm not that kind of person so it doesn't make that much difference to me as long as it writes i don't need them to be really 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 wet so again this is the ear of the rabbit the rabbit there the rabbit here on the bottom also so an interesting different design the pen seems comfortable it's not a small pen I just thought it would be bigger but for example this Conklin is really really bigger I think this one is kind of a big pen this is a regular size pen although the length is the same but the girth is different so this is what I had to show you today I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave links below as usual, and I hope you'll come back for more videos like this. So, see you next time. Bye.